Can you smell scraps? Hey, can you smell fishing? <laughs> we are out! Finally, I'll flip you around. We're just on the walk there now. Finally, guys, you wouldn't know. Well, I've had a lot of blanks. Last video I blanked a lot a few times, and this time I blanked even more. I was in uh, the, the storm when I stormed Dennis or wherever he was. Brutal, man. Honestly, I had one pike, one perch on two, di on, on two different lakes. It was really hard fishing, man. I went to the private lake and where I catch all the tench. And it was just brutal. Honestly, absolutely brutal. Cross winds. I'm not even going to post the video because it wasn't even worth it. It's a tiny little pike, tiny little perch, and a lot of graft. I've got all my rods, all my gear. It's probably about 30 kilos on me today. Um, I've got ground bait with me. I've got bread with me. I've got worms with me. I've got corn with me. I've got chickpeas with me. So we're going to have a bing bang bosh on the carp and I'm float fishing. I've got two new rods. Yeah. Two new rods. There's a squirrel. Two new rods. So uh, I want to give them a go. I'll explain more about that while I've got new gear and stuff. Um, but it's all second hand. You know what I'm like. Um, but yeah, so I just really want to try my new gear out. And I want to catch a lot of fish, if that makes sense. It's been real hard, like, kind of winter for me this year. Because I haven't been able to get on the rivers because we live in Somerset. It's, it's flooded like anything, honestly. Worst river session I've ever had. So, uh, I'm making up for it. We're just going to catch a load of bream. Some big bream, hopefully. Carp. Everything, really. Just, I'm just after fish today. I'm really not bothered. If anyone knows what it's been like been really hit and miss with the fishing so i just want to get out and catch a lot of fish on my new gear yeah right i'll catch you at the lake we're gonna be at the park not the park lake sorry the council pond where the fish are bigger and there's more of them <laughs> right big boat and then guys here we go new position so uh i'm in the disabled swim as they would call it look bird city not a coincidence right well, it is a coincidence well, it's not a coincidence sorry i'm we fish float a fish in there amongst those crazy birds someone else just turned up yee <laughs> can't have the whole lake to yourself can you all right i've got the float rod set up and the cart rod set up and i got a pva bag tied bread and ground bait boosh i'm really oh boily in my tub i don't even know what it is but it's gone soft and it stinks so I thought I'd use that. Look, it's only mono hook link, size 10 hook. Can't go crazy in here. Got a little lead clip on here and a little flying bat lead. Nothing too crazy. Really keep it simple. Oh yeah, and this is my new rod. This is a pound and a half test curb. It's gonna be my new tench rod. It's awesome. I'll have a little chat in a minute about that. This is a lush rod, man. fishing at me. Then 
again, I've got a light rod. <laughs> Oh, it's a nice gate stick. Nearly a double figure ghostly, I think. Banger, absolute banger, first fish. Look at that, absolute stunning ghosty man. Absolutely stunning. Buzzing with that, that old stinky bait I was on about. Been here about five minutes. I've been here about half an hour and then just got one odd out. Right then guys, here we go. So, everything's still intact. Still got a stinky boilie on. So uh, it's quite a long hook link to be fair, but it worked, didn't it? <laughs> it worked for old Carpy. Okay, get straight back out there again, I'm not gonna mess around. PVA bag, I've just ground bait this time, couldn't boil it, put any bread in it, ain't got time. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a uh, bird city. That led on. Here we go then guys. Two grains in corn and a little feeder. I took the float in, it's so windy man. And I've got a real short, small float on. I thought, do you know what? Just get in the deeper water. You know there's gonna be bream and that about. And it's like a helicopter style going up and down. And I've got a little float stop, just keeping it in position. And that's it. Let's pull the float stop down. So then what happens is, my hook link just gonna move along there, and that's it. And as soon as it hits that, it can't go anywhere. Go Ah, uh, uh, hey guys, why it's a little bit quiet? I thought I'm gonna have a little chit chat. Had a couple of bites already on the feeder, so I think I'm gonna do all right on the feeder, you know even though it's on a float rod. <laughs> I have got my feeder rod, as you know, but I've actually, didn't have it with me. It's at my, um, at the private lake, I've got to go and grab it. I think a cheap one, isn't it? Um, but yeah, what I was going to talk about was just the, the new gear that I just got. I've got a new reel, well, I've got five new reels, and I've got four new rods, right? And I paid 65 quid for it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so if you go on these buy, sell, and swap sites, um, you can get some really good deals. And, uh, oh, <laughs> but look, new reel, look, you hear it. Exactly, you can't hear nothing. Just listen to it, look. And this rod is a team. I don't even know. But this is not the best of rods, if that makes sense. These are float rods. Um, but they're really, really fine. One of them's really fine, one's quite stiff. Um, so it'd be really good for tench fishing and stuff. And this one would be better for like float fishing and stuff like that. Even feeder fishing like this, so I'm feeder fishing for big bream, not tiny carp, uh, tiny roach or anything. So uh, I'm not also fishing with like a single maggot. You know what I mean? I'm waiting for, the, for it to rip round. Um, but I've got a pound and Tesco rod. Anyway, it's right. 65 quid. I paid for five reels and four rods. Originally, they wanted like 15 to 20 quid per rod. And my missus, he's an old dude, and uh, his sight was going, so he stopped fishing. Felt sorry for him. And uh, basically, he was like, "Oh, I can do you a deal, and I'll sell you." 
all of it for 65 quid. And I looked and there was a John Wilson wheel, real, that I got. Um, a, pound and a, tes a pound and a half test curve rod. We got a two and a three quarter test curve rod. Um, I could have got a, four, a three pound test curve rod, but I thought, nah, it's too heavy for me. And I got two float rods. Um, and he uses the uh, pound and a test curve, what, pound and a half test curve one for barbell fishing. And uh, yeah, and all the reels were banging, man. Like, look at E, look at E. Hey, it's a Michelin one, this one, this is Mitch. Oh, Mitch. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very lucky, but that's why you keep your eye out, you know. I won't just buy people just sending one rod for a tenner. I look around and I knew this guy wanted a bulk deal gone. And, um, you know, I could tell that my missus was just like, they're really old. And it, it sounds bad, but when I say really old, I mean, like, they look after their gear. Like, this reel looks bang. And look at it. Look at the rod. And then I've got a bit of mud on the end. I'll clean it up just purely from giving me it. That sold me it. But, yeah, cracking stuff, you know what I mean? Really good deals. Scrappy. Good boy. Chasing rats, and he? Yeah. <laughs> right, anyway, let's get back to the fishing. Okay. Alright guys, got to show you this a minute. Just literally cast out the bomb as I'm on the other fish and I've got another fish on. That's a boomy. Right then. There we go, Mr. Bree. <laughs> Literally chucked out that bomb as I was waiting while I had up the other fish. So I, I left the bomb out while I was unhooking that other fish. Look back and there's a slack line. Okay. Mr. Bree me. Happy with that one. Big bang boss, Mr. Bree. Straight back in. Oosh. No for rods, I'm not even fishing. Go on this one, just using a lead just squeezing the, the bait around the lead and a single grain of corn and a size 16 hook for the bream. All right, I think we've got a bream on. Fantastic. Yeah, boy. And you beautiful people, I'm going to shoot on. It's been actually in the right session, actually. It's been quite nice to come down here. I would like to catch a couple more fish, but as you know, it's 20 mile per hour winds, man. Hammer and rain. 
and uh, I can't be bothered to get soaked. If I catch another fish, obviously I'll show you, but I'm literally out packing down now to me and Scrappy get out of here. I've even got my brolly and everything, but the way the wind's cutting across, it's not really doing too much for me. So, uh, I'm getting out of here. Right, big bag wash. Like and subscribe and forgot to and hit the notification bell, the bell, because otherwise I've noticed some people like, oh, I didn't realize you haven't been posting. I have been posting, and some people have been watching my videos. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you want to, you know, what I exactly want to post, get, uh, hit the bell, notifications, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, number nine, fight, Fighting Fisherman, number nine on Instagram, and Fighting Fisherman on Facebook. <laughs>